I filmed a TikTok my channel my name is Lanea if you're new and if you're not welcome back I already said that um, I'm going to film a few days of my life vlog so just gonna show you literally what my life looks like super realistic um, and yeah so today is Thursday I work from 12:45 to about 7 15 so I had a whole morning to myself, which was really nice. I got a video uploaded. I slept in. I filmed a TikTok about my favorite protein shake or protein powder or one of my favorites, I should say. My dishwasher is really loud. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I had a good morning. I did my hair because it was crazy. I washed it last night and I have naturally curly hair. So when I wake up, it's insane. So anyways, that's what I've been doing, but I'm trying to get out the door here. Maybe if I put that over there, you won't be able to hear that as much. Probably not. Anyways, I'm gonna go out the door. I'm gonna uh, head to my mom's. I work in an hour. It's 11.49 right now, so just under an hour. Um, because my a check got sent there, and I still need to change my address for that. So I'm gonna go pick it up. The kitchen's kind of a mess, and I'm leaving it like this. Right now, Nathan did clean it up for the most part um, two days ago, which I have some really sad news, but I just like don't want to talk about it at, right now. I'll probably just tell you guys in the car because I do want to like say it because it's like pretty relevant to my life. But anyways, I'm gonna finish this and pack a protein bar and a yogurt for work. Okay, this is my favorite little yogurt snack to bring to work, the Too Good. Yogurt has eight grams of protein and only two grams of sugar. Super yummy. And then I'm bringing one of these mini protein bars because they're like a little chocolate bar. They're not that great for you, but balance. My screen is falling off my camera again. The G7X has like these tiny little screws that hold the viewfinder on and like they just constantly fall out like I tightened them last week this is like the quickest that it's fallen out so I'm just gonna tell you the sad news because I would like to just like say it um, we had to put diesel down two days ago it was Wednesday or no it was Tuesday sorry um, and I was at work and luckily the vet is like really really close um, And it was kind of like an emergency appointment. My mom had to take him to he was 17 He was really old. Um, he ended up getting a cancerous tumor under his tongue and It just progressed really really quick and the vet said like that can happen within a matter of days it Can get that bad and we had to make the decision to put him down um and it was really, really sad. Like we've obviously had him for 17 years. Like we were there from day one when he was born. Um, and it was just, it was really heartbreaking um, because it, he's literally like, he's been there for the majority of my life. I'm 24, 25 in a few months. And yeah, he was just like, a little part of the family and I loved him so much like he I'm not gonna cry like I I did my crying I did my literal sobbing myself to sleep I'm like I'm not gonna do that again unless I need to cry but you know a little part of me feels like it's like missing and I didn't live with him anymore obviously I've lived away from him since May when I moved out and for a little bit last year but like 
yeah, he was just like our family's like little, little man. And yeah, he was really old and I'm glad that he's not in pain anymore. And it would have just been mean to let him suffer. So we didn't really have a choice. Like we had to put him down. Um, but it doesn't make it any less sad. Um, but he was old and he had such a long life and he was so healthy for so long of his life. Like we're so lucky that we got him for that many years. And Diesel would shake a paw. Like he wasn't, he was like a dog. <laughs> he wasn't even just like a cat. He was literally like this little dog. And yeah, so I'm sad, but I'm, I'm at peace with knowing that he's like not uncomfortable anymore. Um, and knowing that he literally had the best life. Like, I'm not kidding, this cat lived like a king. We gave him the best life, so, yeah. Okay, let's go see Cedar. Monkey! <sighs> okay, girlfriend. You good? Oh my word. No, I'm not. Look at her. I'm crazy. Oh, oh my, let me walk, dog. <laughs> are you being mean to mom? What are you doing wrong? No, oh. Did we pee on the ground today? <laughs> Did we pee on the ground again? No. No, we don't bite. We're nice. We're nice today. Oh my god, you Actual monkey. Oh my god. What time is it? Uh, I, yeah, I gotta work at 12:45. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you wanna go outside? Okay. Come here. Let's go outside and play. You need to like get the zoomies out. Hold on. Okay. It's so smoky out here. Come on. Come outside. outside. Yeah, we hit the bell. We go outside. Okay, ready to go play? Let's get some energy out so mom can have a break. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, you're actually insane. She can jump off this part, but that's the only part she can get off. Okay, don't... You undid my shoe. Oh, my God. Why? No. No! Bad. Bad. No. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, get the zoomies. Go. Run. Not the shoe. We have puppy energy, don't we? We have puppy energy. We have puppy energy. Because you're crazy. No, leave the camera. Come on, good girl, you tried to trick me. You're so dirty. Mission accomplished. She's tired. Now you take a nap for mom, right? Yeah, you can take a nap. Yeah. She sits on your shoe like Secret did. Yeah. Bye! Bye! She's like sad that I'm leaving. Hi, baby girl. Oh, bye bye! Okay, I just ran the dog around for a while so my mom could like sit down for a minute. Wow. But I actually have to go to work now. Oh, she's still just staring at me. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, now she's at the other window. This is so sad. Oh, as soon as I go to take a picture, she left. Okay, I'm gonna drive to work and I'll see you guys after work. <laughs>
Good morning guys, it is Friday, it's my day off. So I don't work today, which is nice. It's 10 18 right now. I had my coffee this morning on the couch. I think I'm running into like a rut with lattes. I made a latte this morning and didn't even finish it, which is weird. So I don't know, normally I'm like, I just, I want a latte all the time. But I'm kind of craving like cold brew or iced coffee. So I might buy like a cold brew maker or something. We'll see. I'm gonna fill up my Stanley cup because I've just been drinking what was left in it from last night. Okay. I've got a nail appointment in 40 minutes, but I also need to stop at the bank. So I'm just gonna head out pretty quick here. Um, my nails are like three, three weeks and two days old and they're so grown out. I'll show you guys like a before and after of them. Um, I'm also wearing a gym outfit because I'm going to come home and work out. I was maybe going to go to the gym, but I just, I've been feeling like working out at home more recently, which is weird because that's normally not the case. But I also have been thinking of like trying to find a workout class that I like. There's, <laughs> there's just lots that I'm thinking about. My camera's going to die, so I'm going to change the battery quick. Okay, here's my outfit i'm wearing slides because they're just easy and then i'm wearing my story leggings uh which is katie hearn's brand they're so good guys like they are so nice i am obsessed with them and then i'm also wearing the little shelf bra tank i don't even know what it's called but it's really cute and it's like a halter and it's got like i don't know like contour lines on it i don't know it's really cute and then i'm wearing this over sweatshirt thing from Old Navy. I'm charging my other camera batteries now so that they'll be good when I get home. I need to turn off all the lights. Got my water and I think I'm gonna make a protein shake for breakfast because I honestly didn't eat breakfast today, so we should probably get some protein in. I've been loving my frosted flurry protein, guys. I think I might have said that yesterday. I don't know. Um, okay, and I'm going to do more than one scoop today because, let's see, one scoop is 17 grams of protein. So I'm going to do like one and a half maybe. That might be like a little bit more than a half, but oh, about one and a half scoops. I'm just a water and protein kind of gal. <laughs> I don't do milk. I don't know. It's just easy for me to just do it like this. And this one's super sweet and like a little chocolate shake. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really liking this one. My first impression of it was it was good, but I was like, what the heck, too sweet. But I made it with like dates and fruit and things like that. This isn't a protein that you can like make smoothies with, with anything else that's sweet. There was just a massive bird flying outside my door. Anyways, um, yeah, I feel like this is more of a shake for just like protein and water or protein and milk because it's way too sweet. Or more than that. Anyways, okay. I actually need to go. I forget to put my freaking ring on. I didn't forget for the first like month and a bit and then life, I didn't forget for the first like month and a bit and then guys, life just gets busy and you forget, okay? There we go. <laughs> got my ring. I literally told Nathan too before we got engaged that one day when we were engaged that I'd probably forget to wear my ring, and I was not wrong. <laughs> I forgot to do it before of my nails, but here they are. They're so good. I am obsessed. I did like a take on the Hailey Bieber nails. So we did white underneath and then this like chrome on top. I'm obsessed. They are so good. She literally nailed it. <laughs> I'm currently heating up some leftover pasta noodles and my appetite's been a little bit like off so i'm literally doing some butter and noodles right now which is funny and kind of like 
kind of super weird to me, but I don't know. It's like all I feel like eating. Really fun. I'm gonna go to Target and Trader Joe's by myself and have a me day. And I'm honestly just kind of really excited because I love doing things like this just myself. I did invite Nathan, but he's off school in like 30 minutes. And then he is doing something with his car with his dad. So he can't come and that's okay. I'm gonna do it myself. I also invited my mom, <laughs> but I kind of figured she couldn't and she can't, so. Yeah, but I kind of want to go get like all the pumpkin things from Trader Joe's if they even have them. And just like my favorite things like buffalo chicken dip, green goddess dip, um, the brown sugar creamer. I kind of want to try that. And then I want to go to Target. So that's what we're doing. And I live like 45 minutes away, maybe an hour away. I don't know. It's really not that far if you think about it. I mean, I don't know, I get like nervous driving there by myself because it's like you're going to a different country, you know? It's kind of weird, but. Here's another look because I'm literally obsessed with them. They're so good and I got them shorter, quite a bit shorter, thank goodness, because they were kind of long and obviously they were grown out and I was just kind of over the super long, so. I'm currently at the border. It honestly did not take me long to get here at all. There was like no traffic, which was so nice. Usually the highway is a nightmare and I just like dread it. And to be honest, I'm gonna be realistic. It's kind of funny because I wanted to do like a realistic few days in my life for you guys. But like how often do I really come to Target and Trader Joe's? Not that often, <laughs> but it's still like, I don't know, it's still my life. Anyways, so because I want to be realistic, I just want to say I was kind of having a bit of a moment of worry and nervousness because of going by myself even though I love to do things on my own and I'm good at doing things on my own and I'm a very independent person I just kind of like felt like scared to go on my own and I don't know why also I don't know why I talk with my hands so much but I do um, so anyways, I was just like nervous and yeah, it's just, it's realistic though. You know, that's just my life and I feel like I should share that because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I just decided I'm going to go and I didn't worry or I didn't stress. But ever since COVID, it's like leaving the country and stuff is just like nerve wracking, I guess. I don't know, you just almost feel like wrong doing it in a way. Got my passport my driver's license I've got everything that I need so I'm gonna be totally fine and the lineups like maybe gonna be 10 minutes it's not bad at all and I did look before I left because it's Friday and you just never know but yeah it's not bad We made it to Target. Okay, I found these two pillows, but there's only one of each. Like, I really like this one. It would go with our bed. And I'm not feeling this one anymore. It's too wintry, whereas like this could be all year round, right? But this is $40. I don't think I can pay that for a pillow. Honestly, I'm sweating. Target's music was loud. It was warm in there, it was busy. Um, I spent almost $80, but I got a ton of food and I got like 12 of my poppy prebiotic soda drinks. So it was a lot, but that's okay. I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's, but I also have to go to the bathroom. Um, I think that there should be a bathroom in the mall right here. 
if I go in those doors, but like, I'm gonna pee my pants if I don't go. Okay, we've got the Trader Joe's bags and the Target bags, and it is time to go home. I think it's like five. Yeah, it's 5.06. Okay, I'm just grabbing some gas off the highway because I was driving and my car said zero kilometers left. $1.91 per liter. What the heck? Why is it yelling at me? I don't want a receipt. I never come to Chevron because I feel like there's like either Shell or Esso anywhere. Like when do I ever come to a Chevron? I don't know how to use this gas station machine thing. shopping cart in your house it's just so weird um okay i think i'm gonna film like a unboxing what i got on tiktok and then i'm gonna lay everything out and i'll show you guys and then yeah if you want to check out the tiktoks go ahead i don't know what i'm saying okay here is the trader joe's haul um i'll just start over here i got the pumpkin um, bread and muffin mix. I got two because apparently it's so good and if it tastes anything like the Starbucks one does or did Starbucks changed theirs I'm pretty sure but anyway so I got two of those hopefully they're good I think I'm gonna love them and then I did get two different kinds of the pumpkin pancake waffle mix I got the regular one and then the gluten-free one because Rachel Racky says that the gluten-free one is better so I just had to get both and honestly, their stuff is pretty affordable there, so I just got both. I got the non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage because I think this would be so good to like do some in coffee or make a latte with. Hopefully it's good. If not, oh well. Then I also got this non-dairy oat brown sugar creamer. You guys have probably seen this. I think everybody and their mom gets that. I've got these pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. I don't know if they're good. I don't, I don't know. Thought they'd be a yummy snack. You guys know I'm literally obsessed with this dip. I get it every single time I go to Trader Joe's. It's so good. I can just sit there and, and just eat it. It's so good. Then I got pumpkin pie spice because apparently the Trader Joe's one is really good. And then I got two chili lime seasonings because me and Nathan love these. We love to put it on salmon. For some reason, it's so good. And Nathan will put it on his eggs and just about anything. So got those got just mangoes they're nothing but dried mangoes i didn't get the organic ones because the organic ones are like a dollar more but those are good then i got white corn tortilla chips which usually i get those specific chips i'm gonna put a photo on the screen you guys know i love them and they didn't have them so i was so sad so i just picked these ones up because i knew i was gonna want to eat this with something now for the frozen stuff i got a few bags that honestly need to go in the freezer. So I got the cauliflower gnocchi, the sweet potato gnocchi, and apparently these are both really, really good. And then I got mandarin orange chicken and I got two bags because I've also heard that this is like super, super good. So that is my Trader Joe's haul and I'm gonna put it away and then show you guys what I got from Target. Okay, here's my little Target haul. Um, main thing I go to Target for are these poppy drinks, okay? They're amazing. Like, they're just so good. I've showed you guys them before. And then I just organize them in this little drink thing. So this whole bag's just full of my favorite three flavors. Um, and then, okay, Dots pretzels. I literally already opened them. They're so good, guys. If you like pretzels, the seasoning on these are amazing. So two bags of those. Muddy Buddies because they're only in the States. Everything I get down there is, of course, only because we can't get it here. So a treat. Chick-fil-A sauce is like a staple, okay? This is so good. Um, and then I got the pumpkin spice oat barista blend, and I did get this before I went to Trader Joe's, 
and then realize that they have their pumpkin. Oh, okay. Cold brew. I wanted to get two cold brews because I'm kind of sick of my lattes and I wanted to get some iced coffee or an iced coffee maker, but it was two for 10 of these. And one, we don't have this brand in Canada. And two, if I get stock cold brew, it's $8 for one of these, or I got two for 10. So with exchange rate, say it's like $12 that's still a couple bucks cheaper than at home. So I just, I'm gonna try these two, a medium roast and a medium slash dark roast ones. And then I got this Mrs. Meyers soap, the apple cider scent. Guys, it smells so good. I'm pretty glad I found that. And then I got this, which I see so many people have this like set up. The, um, this is a toothbrush holder but there's like the cotton ball holder, the soap dispenser, but they only had this one. But I was thinking either, yes, a toothbrush holder, <laughs> I'm trying to take off the tape, or it would be good to hold makeup brushes, which I thought would be a good idea. So you could just like take this out and use it just to hold the makeup brushes, or you can use it as a toothbrush holder. So I had to get this thing. I feel like this is, very me it's like a almost like clay looking i don't know good timing nathan's home you just got home at the right time what are you doing filming a haul without me yeah all my chinese you got food food without me i went and got chinese food oh yeah okay. grandma oh thanks for the invite you weren't even here <laughs> Where'd you You're guys at go? Trader Hose. Yeah, where'd you guys go? Woodman. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Chinese food. Oh, look what I got you. Your request. Hell yeah. Um, I didn't see kale chips because I didn't look. Because I forgot. <laughs> Until you walked in right now, crap. How could you? But if it makes you feel better, they didn't have the chips that I like at all either. That so. does make me feel better. Oh, really? Yeah. It's Sad, but yeah, I got you two because you asked her too. So I don't remember if I showed this, but this is for my mom. I'm talking to the vlog, um, because I think she'd like it. So I think it was sitting over there. You guys, these are unreal. Go to Trader Joe's, just do it. Okay, I need to take this cart back downstairs and then I need to take these bags to my car because they're just like clogging up the floor here. And my mom was at a hair appointment, so she's gonna come by and grab these because I said I had something for her. I've been drinking a poppy, and it's so good, guys. If you ever get your hands on one, tell me how you like them. I feel like they're just so good. Um, I put it on ice, though, because it wasn't cold enough, and I'm trying to drink more water because I didn't drink enough today, so filled that up again. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy on the couch, looking like a wreck, I put pajamas on and I haven't worked out. I was gonna, but I don't know. I'm having a really hard time getting into a workout routine. Like a really hard time. So I'm gonna do it, but slowly but surely. Now I'm just gonna drink this in bed, probably watch a show, which is not really smart to do in bed, to be honest, and I wanna break that habit, but I'm going to have to get back up and brush my teeth anyways when I finish this, so yeah, but that's how I'm ending my night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's literally a week later, and I'm finally just editing and finishing this video, but I did film the next couple days, but I'm going to try to edit that into a new vlog because this one's already almost 30 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys really soon for a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.